hating people because of their colour is wrong. And it doesn't matter which colour does the hating, it's just plain wrong. It's quoted by Muhammad Ali, who's uh, one of my favourite boxers out there. This day was actually founded in 1960. You know, I, I personally was not aware of this day at all. I didn't know about the, you know, International um, Day of Racial Discrimination. Uh, but 69 people were, were shot dead by police in South Africa. Um, and these guys were protesting for apartheid laws. Racism, xenophobia and discrimination are problems in all societies. But each day, each and every one of us can stand up against racial prejudice and intolerant attitudes. We all need to be human rights champions and fight racism. This is my main point for, for these communities, is everybody is equal, whether it's, it's you know, race, it's ethnicity, it's gender, it's age, everybody should be treated just as equal as everybody else. And I think that's the that's why I want to be involved in this, is to make that change and make a difference for everybody. This day for me, it's, it's an extremely important day. Uh, you know, it's not just about raising awareness, uh, it's about breaking barriers. It's about, you know, making change, effective change. Um, not just within our organisation, but they say if you want to make a change outside, you've got to make a change inside. If I see it, like Kieran said and, and everyone else said, I will, I will be calling it out. If it's over the phone, if it's happening in front of my face, if I feel like something is just not right in my gut, you know, uh, a colleague is speaking to another colleague just a little bit differently, I will speak about it, I will, I will raise it, I will address it there and then. I think for me, I think it's really creating that safe environment where people can be themselves at work. So we want everybody to be able to be themselves, be authentic and, and actually not be afraid to be themselves, whatever role they're in across the business. And I think that's really important, whether you're either branch focused or central focused, um, being able to be who you are and not being afraid to share who you are, your culture, your background, when you're talking to your customers, talking to your colleagues. So for me, it's all about allowing colleagues to be themselves. For me, it's not about one day, it's about every day. And I think, you know, we need to use this day to maybe be that catapult to, to raise awareness, but it's what we do after the um, Elimination of Racial Discrimination Day, not what we do on that day. Um, and for me, it's, it's how we're going to make a difference. It is calling it out. It is thinking about things differently. It is looking outside of Travis Perkins into our communities and looking to see you know, what we can do to reflect those. As we've seen in recent events, 60 years on, the same things are still going on. Uh, I'm talking about America, the world over really, Black Lives Matter, etc, etc. And I'll come back to the point about leaders. There is available training in inclusiveness, diversity, how you encompass it. I've done a day's worth of it, and it makes you look at things in a totally different way. It's, people never forget what you said. People never forget what you did. However, people never forget how you made them feel. We have to, you know, love each other, everyone. We, we need to get people that feel quite passionate about it, to be involved in the community, and also to want to make that change across the board, wherever it is, you know, I mean, however high in the hierarchy you are. None of us alone can save the nation or the world. But each of us can make a positive difference if we commit ourselves to do something.